Hi guys, I am Mohammad Rashid Alu Parambil. I would like to share a comment in front of you now. Be the master of artificial intelligence before it replaces you. We all know that nowadays this world is changing as a machine world. It's a truth. If you agree or not agree, it doesn't matter. But 100% I'm sure that and 100% it's a fact. The world is changing as a machine world. All things are getting changed to artificial intelligence. When I shared this uh, comment on social media, I received a lot of messages, I received a lot of responses like uh, how come artificial intelligence can replace us me or like uh, okay, how artificial intelligence can replace us a driver that kind of questions it's just only your thinking you are just thinking like that you cannot replace it but be careful already artificial intelligence applied in cars also you can see this Audi car it's without driver even this one doesn't have this uh, steering wheel also just watch this one Banking on what Audi has done before, they're, they're the most autonomous we know. And I, I, I think I would follow them first. I, if you, and if you look at some of the things that could happen inside of the car, if they're pairing with people that have the best speakers and the best microphones, because what you're going to be doing is watching TV, doing video conferencing, listening to music, and for the older people, these uh, these cars are uh, going to be great they just, because the chair just swivels right out and swivels right back in. So yeah, I think it's, it's a great start for what they need to do. You know that in all fields artificial intelligence is getting applied. Even before how we were maintaining an office, how many staffs were working in accounts before? Once the software came, a lot of people they lost their job. How? It could replace it. No need of uh, record keepers, no need of stores for keeping this kind of records and things. Whatever you require, you will get it on your system within few seconds. Nowadays it's applied to all. All means all. So that's why I am saying 
be the master of artificial intelligence be the master of artificial intelligence that means I am not asking you to develop artificial intelligence at least try to use these artificial intelligence systems at least you will get job for that whatever fields whichever fields you are dealing with all are coming as artificial intelligence here in this is a video from Amazon company this is a video from Amazon here you can see that all things are automated all are through machines how it's working it's all through artificial intelligence only between the time that I order something online on Amazon.com and it gets pulled from one of these shelves or another distribution center, how long is that? Hours. Hours. You have a scanner and it directs you to a location, a bin location. Once you scan that bin with your scanner, it tells you the item that you're supposed to pick. So up here is where we assemble customers' orders. When a customer orders multiple items, uh, we've got over 500,000 square feet that we house inventory in. And so our challenge is to quickly get all of those items into one spot so we can package them and get them on the road to the customer. What about technology? What technology has made you able to meet your customer demands like that? Well, we, uh, all of these systems that you see behind you uh, are, are the workings of Amazon's proprietary systems. We have brilliant software engineers that help us automate and optimize for our customers. So it's all about software? That's right. What are people buying that you weren't seeing them buy before? Are they opening up their wallets a little more? Well, you know, as, as we said uh, in our Q3 guys, we, we expect this, this quarter to be our, our, our best ever with you best know, ever. 46 to, to 40 percent growth uh, on the same quarter last year. Right now is the busiest time. It started Sunday and it's just not going to stop until Santa comes down the chimney. After we've picked our inventory, we're putting all of the items together to get to the customer. You see all of our cartons available, ready to be packed. So I'm seeing the Kindle, and there, there's a lot of these here, a lot right. of Christmas orders. That's right. So here, here we've got a Kindle uh, and the leather cover for it. Are people buying these together, the cover and the Kindle? Yes, they are. Yeah, They're very popular together. Uh, this is an order that's ready to be shipped. The blue light tells us that it's ready to be shipped. Yep. It's going to go in a carton here. We're going to scan it to the carton. It's going to go down this conveyor. So it'll go down here. Get down, get sorted out, and then get weighed and shipped right behind us here. Here is where we actually ship it to our customer. Automatic labeling. Automatic labeling. We've hired over 15,000 temporary associates to help us through the holiday season in North America. So what does that mean uh, for a facility just like this? Thousands of, of jobs. Just for the holidays? Just for the holidays. How last minute can people order things? Well, last year a customer ordered an item at 9.17 p.m. on December 23rd, and we delivered to them in time for Christmas in Boca Raton, Florida. Final step? This is it. So after we've weighed it, we put the shipping label on it, we sort it out to a number of different carriers. We're going to close that trailer door and off to the customer. If this one we were using before, how many people will be working here? But from this itself, we can understand how many people lost their job. Same like this, you should understand that, you should come to know that Tomorrow your job also will be lost. You will also you lose your job. So be careful. And here see, maybe you are thinking that uh, what about this uh, telemarketing team? What about these telemarketers? There is there was people who are calling and marketing through telephones. That is called telemarketers. But here I will show you. Uh, actually, I cannot show that one because it's uh, artificial intelligence through computer. So I'll sh show you a demo with the voice. Just listen to this voice and come to know how they replaced these uh, uh, telemarketers. Several weeks ago, Times DC Bureau Chief Michael Scheer 
got a peculiar phone call from a telemarketer named Samantha West. Well, I'm calling about an online request you once made about health insurance coverage. Samantha turned out to be a sort of cyborg telemarketer deploying pre-recorded messages to try to sell him health insurance. I am a real person. As it turns out, she's not alone. Another reporter here, Zeke Miller, got a call from a cyborg telemarketer named Jacob Hall. Hello, this is Jacob. How are you today? I'm good, Jacob. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. You're a robot, right? There's a live person right here. <laughs> really? There's a live person right there? Yes. Can we continue? All we need is for you to answer a few questions for us, and we can tell you if you qualify. Is that okay? Are you a robot, sir? There's a live person right here. <laughs> I was just wondering what you did this weekend. I can't give out that information. Okay, well, uh, did you have a nice holiday? <laughs> Are you poking fun at me? I'm just trying to figure out if you're a robot or not, because you sound a little bit robotic to me. I can't give out personal information. Can you at least give out the personal information that you are not a robot? Yeah, I am a real person. Will you say the words, I am not a robot? If you can do that, then we can move forward in the conversation. I'm sorry, look, we're not allowed to be silly on the telephone. Sorry, where are you calling from again? National Tax Help Center. We spoke to the CEO of the company, and he seemed to have no idea who Jacob Hall was or that there was any kind of cyborg telemarketing operation being run on his company's behalf. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you owe at least $8,000 in taxes? No. Do you owe at least $8,000 in taxes? Well, we need this information to continue. Well, I already told you no. I'm sorry. The number that Jacob Hall called was actually on the FTC's Federal Do Not Call Registry. A violation of the Do Not Call Registry can warrant a civil penalty for a company up to $16,000 per call. So it's no small thing, theoretically, to violate the registry. How did you get my phone number? I'm not sure how we got your information, but your profile matched the qualification criteria in our database. And what database is that? Well, we're calling those that owe employment tax or have passed income tax due to the IRS or the state. And we have a friendly representative to assist in all the questions you'll need answered. Can I transfer you now? Yes, please. Telemarketing operations are subcontracted out many, many layers down. So many companies run these kind of operations. And the episode with Jacob just illustrates how difficult it is to get to the bottom of it when the actual caller, the telemarketer, is so many layers removed from the company he's calling on behalf of that company doesn't even know he's calling okay we'll just say i'm not a robot and then we'll carry on i'm sorry thanks bye wow the next one what i'm going to show you is receptionist you know that Whenever, wherever, whichever company we are going, there will be a, on reception is sitting at the reception to give you a better reception. But here, just go through this video. Here, this reception is this lady. She is a robot. Just watch. She can smile and she can sing. Customers to Japan's oldest department store chain are greeted by this robot who has just started work as a receptionist there. She's been programmed to speak Japanese but can also be fine-tuned to speak in Chinese and Korean too. And the lifelike android marked her first day at work with a song, well, perhaps lip-synced her way through most of it. After the performance, the robot asked for applause for the opera singer. Oops, well, she is just a robot after all. For some of the visitors, the android was quite an eye-opener. I'm just so surprised that humans have developed machine engineering to this point. Her future isn't certain, but she will be at the store's entrance, welcoming customers until May the 5th. The company said it will decide next month whether humans will return to this post or not. But receptionists worldwide probably don't need to worry too much. At the moment, she isn't programmed to handle complaints or questions. Now I'm just showing you some other videos from these robotics and artificial intelligence. Just make sure that your job is safe. For that one I'm saying, 
be the master of artificial intelligence before it replaces you. If you don't care, tomorrow you will lose your job for sure. let's go through this awesome robot he's just same as human he's walking as human running as human so just go through these all Atlas's advanced controlled system enables highly diverse and agile locomotion, while algorithms reason through complex dynamic interactions involving the whole body and environment to plan movement. Okay, guys, once again I wish to make you remember that be the master of artificial intelligence before it replaces you. Don't lose this chance. Don't lose your job. <laughs> That stripe was on. 